FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. Currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside as well as all of the sectors with inside the S&P 500. The Dow's off 291 points, about 9 tenths percent. 1 percent for the S&P or 41 points, 8 tenths for the Nasdaq. That's 102. The Russell's off 7 tenths or 13 points. The uh, semis are off 8 tenths percent. That's 25 points. The downside gold's off 33 bucks. That's nearly 2 percent. Silver down 41 cents. That is 2%. Lights recruit off a buck 88, 2 and 3 tenths percent. Natural gas is still up a nickel. Trade out 262 and a 30 year treasure up 14 ticks. Trade out 124. Oh, one. So what's all that mean? Jelly bean. Well, if you go take a look at the nine panel market update chart, we begin with the ES mini. The ES mini, we now have price as we speak right now, trading below both the top of its daily profile and its oscillator and change line. The oscillator and change line is currently printing at 4037, call 4038. This suggests to me that price should go target the bullish structured support area of its daily profile. And that's between the range of 39.57 and 39.90. If we take a look at the spot volatility, it is moving higher, but still well below that 50-day exponential moving average. So the move lower could be overblown, but still, the ES Mini should go target that support level. Well, if the ES Mini is going to go do that. The NQ, which has been consolidating with inside that daily profile for a couple of weeks here, found resistance yesterday right up at that 12, 408, 50 area. This may be targeting its support level as well. That's between 11, 975 and 12. 83. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index having a big move here. Now, the U.S. dollar index, I believe it's a TD9 count top. Um, I don't know why I don't know. Oh, I know why I don't have a mark because I lost that chart yesterday. So if price today were to close above, so it's trading into the swing point. 105.32, that's going to set up an A to B equal CD to the upside, or maybe there's already a bigger one that's in place out here. But that's going to suggest that the U.S. dollar index would head higher. Now, in the case of Goldilocks, she is trading below the bottom of its – no, I take that back. She is trading towards the bottom of its daily profile, which is also a TD9 count bottom pattern. That's at the 1815.50 18, 18, 15, area. In the case of uh, silver, it's trading below its bullish structure daily profile. That is suggesting lower price. Lights we crude back inside its profile. Yesterday and the day before, it looked like we were breaking out. A close today, though, above 79.24 will confirm that message, the breakout message, that is, with an expected move up into the 83.81 level. If you take a look at natural gas, consolidating with inside that new daily profile, support at 247, resistance at 286 and a 30 year treasury, running right into resistance this morning and yesterday, and that's the top of that daily profile. 125.25 is the key level to watch and observe there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.